So what we're now going to do is just go through some of the early careers and how these guys got into Treasury and how they've grown and developed and things like that. So Benoit, you originally started with Umicor, is that right? Yep, correct. And how did you get into finance, you graduated Umicor and then discovered Treasury? Or how did it work? Yeah, well, um, graduated and started actually uh, a few months as a professor assistant at university and then went to Umicor where actually I did my thesis. Oh, right. And um, I was happy to join them because it was part of a, what they call a management trainee program, which was a series of short-term assignments. And um, I was more focused on commodity trading at the time. And I did one of these short-term assignments in Treasury, which I found very interesting. So it's a combination of Treasury and commodity trading was, was, uh, was excellent. And then this is, well, the first step, let's say, uh, in, in Treasury at that time. And it was an accidental step, or you planned it, or you just... No, 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 I was part of the finance department of the group, and it was a natural move to go uh, in Treasury, focusing more on foreign exchange risk management uh, specifically. So you got your first start. Winky, you had a very planned start into Treasury, you said before. It was the thing you said right from, you know, the day go, or how did it happen? Totally accidental. Um, so I was actually starting with a systems group, um, supporting um, our treasury and accounting finance, basically. Um, that was never thought of much of treasury, other than the fact that I, because I was able to talk in the language of both business and systems, so I helped them to rebuild at the time back um, in the US, I was working for PayPal. Um, no, actually, even before that, I was working for back then called Federated um, Department Store, which is now we call Macy's. It's kind of pretty large department stores in the US. So I'm working for the financial services. I had run the system script and the databases development, run the um, actually develop imaging systems for the benefits group at the time, um, and set up a new call center of 200 people in Bangalore, India, um, remotely from Ohio. And so that was where I started. And then when I moved over to PayPal, um, the, I was put into to support because of my, also I have a dual degree in finance and system. So I was able to kind of help to support the, the treasury as well as finance. Um, happened to, they run into an issue with the money market fund systems. And I kind of, that's where I kind of joined in and helped them to build it out. But as we learn it, they, they don't quite understand how to talk to the engineers. And I was able to translate the two things and kind of able to bridge the gap. And at the time, the treasurer basically said that we probably want to pull her in because she understands the background as well as the front end and able to kind of articulate back to the business folks. So that's how I started back in the U.S. Yeah. So basically, um, I come from a financial background, but uh, I fell into treasury a bit by accident. Uh, uh, also, uh, basically, I wanted to, you know, when you exit university, you don't know really what is the business world. And I wanted to work for corporates. Uh, I am from the region, but I didn't want to work for banks. I wanted to work for corporates and to, to really to be faced against really like real life or real activity where I thought banks will not bring me that. Uh, so I started my career in consulting business for ENY. Um, and uh, basically, I stayed there one year. Uh, after one year, uh, let's say I quickly discovered it, it wasn't for me. Uh, basically, they were, I was not steering my, my career the way I wanted. Uh, and basically, I left. And I had the chance to, to work for RTL with Francois, where basically, um, uh, I was very curious about treasury, but I didn't know anything about treasury, yeah. uh, about what was the content. And basically, uh, I'll, I started really as a junior and then grew in the department by doing projects and learning what is a treasury department. And frankly, uh, I've been doing so for almost 15 years now, and, 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 and really, I love it. Yeah. So it's, it's really, a, um, I'd say there is a combination in this role that is uh, very, very uh, interesting, and that's why I'm still in, in, the, in that field. And why was it so interesting? Why was it Treasury that got you? Uh, basically, the, there is this... You, are, you can be considered as an internal banker, but it's more than just banking. Uh, you need to make the bridge between 
the internal needs and, and, uh, and your internal partners, but also with the external partners. And you need to, to kind of balance this to provide a, the service towards basically your, your company and your internal partner first. Uh, and basically there is this mix of uh, business understanding, IT, uh, let's say negotiation, because you have uh, also a lot of negotiation with the banks and uh, it's quite uh, quite mixed, so it's well, what I enjoy basically.